midcourt down and lays it in for time. Basketball is a game of numbers. Tatum pulls up, he'll fire a three to counter and he does. Throws it up and in and he's fouled. Count it. And keeping track of everything is a big job. Anything that happens on the court, I have to do. Hobson's open, a long three, he's good. Money. If Scotty takes a three point shot and he makes it, then I have to do a left click for make. I basically have to just remember, you know, three, four things in a row before I can enter it in. Luckily, the University of Tennessee has one of the best statisticians there is. Haley King has always had a passion for sports, but she was born with a rare condition known as TAR syndrome that made it hard to compete. So she looked for other ways to get involved. I have something called TAR syndrome. It's a, long, a short name for a long name, thrombocytopenia absent radius, meaning that I was born without the radius bone in both arms. But other than that, perfectly normal child, you know, love sports. Knowing that I couldn't play sports competitively uh, as a young child and then just wanting to do something in sports in general. She grew up around the game of basketball. Her father, Bill King, is the former director of public relations for the Milwaukee Bucks and also contributed to the NCAA manual for statistics. With her dad by her side, she started keeping the stats for her sister's volleyball team. I started out doing volleyball and then from there it was just basketball from there on out with my dad working for the Bucks for 22 years. Uh, that had a really big impact on the sport that I'm now doing. In 2008, she became the first and only high school student to be the official statistician, scoring and timing crew chief for the McDonald's All-American Games in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In the 34-year history of the games, there had never been a statistician quite like Haley. And on January 15, 2011, she was given one of basketball's highest honors, the Naismith Good Sportsmanship Award. I received a phone call from Jan in August, and he said, oh, you just received the Naismith Sportsmanship Award. When we found out she was getting the award, we were just sitting at lunch and she's like, hey guys, by the way, I'm getting this huge award and we just like dropped our food and we were like, okay, that's not something that normal people just say at lunch. I was floored actually. I was like, wait a minute, I live with you. <laughs> you have to, like, this isn't normal. I don't know, it was crazy. And she does so much during the day and she does such a great job at it. So I'm proud of her. <laughs> you know, so many people strive to become, you know, next to the greatest of Pat Summit, Michael Jordan, um, and then it, to see my name on the list is just wow. And to be, you know, the youngest by 12 years, never thought that I would be able to do that. Some of the greatest names in, in basketball have received that award and to have somebody associated with Tennessee basketball and now it's part of Tennessee history and uh, you know it's, it's a special honor and uh, one that she'll cherish the rest of her life. From Michael Jordan to Pat Summit, Haley has joined the ranks of basketball's elite, but that hasn't changed her. She is still the same hardworking, smiling Tennessee Vol statistician she has always been. For her, keeping the stats is all in a day's work. I'm learning from so many great people here at Tennessee that are mentors to me, that will be mentors. <laughs> Just phenomenal. For the Bruce Pearl Show, I'm Rick Russo. University of Tennessee is about providing young people with the opportunities of a lifetime. Some take full advantage of it, and Haley Keegan is a tremendous example of that. She's at every practice, right there at courtside, keeping our stats, and the players pay pretty close attention to the accuracy of those stats because it matters to me. Uh, to overcome adversity, she is living proof of what you're capable of. Uh, she is a treasure here at the University of Tennessee. We're so pleased to have her and want to congratulate her and her family on a wonderful, wonderful honor.